Venus was referred to as the light bringer. So if, if we're all in a big room, if we're all in a big room like a motion picture theater and the lights go off and everything's off and it's dark, if somebody comes into the room, into that theater with a big light, a big flashlight or a big lantern that's lighting up everything, we call him Lucifer because the name Lucifer means one who brings the light. He's not the light, but he brings the light. And so the planet Venus was referred to in Hebrew as Helio, or the light bringer, the one who brings the light. Why? It's because in the morning, in the ancient world, and especially in Egypt, uh, the priest of, of, of Ra, Amun-Ra, the sun god, the priest would wake in the morning very early, and they would go out in front of the temple, and they would all sit and wait and watch for Lucifer, the light bringer, to come, which was uh, the planet Venus. Why? Because Venus is very impressive in the morning. When it's first coming up, it's very bright, and it's really interesting, uh, you know, something that bright coming up on the, on the, on the, on the horizon. But it told everybody and today it tells everyone it's the, it's bringing the light what are you talking about bringing the light the sun the sun is the light of the world that's why we say jesus is light of the world of course the sun is the light of the world but venus is not lighting the world but venus is telling you he's coming behind me so when you see Venus, know the sun is coming now. Now the light of the world is going to rise, and he's going to be our risen Savior. So the ancient peoples in, in India and, and, and uh, in Egypt, etc., in the ancient world, all realized when that bright, beautiful, bright uh, star, that bright planet called Venus, when you see that thing coming up on the horizon, it's not the light of the world. It's not going to light the whole earth. But it is telling you, get ready. The light is coming. He's bringing the light to the world. Why? Because he just precedes the coming of the sun. And so we call Jesus, God's son, the light of the world. Yeah, well, who owns the sun? Well, nobody owns the sun. Well, somebody must own it. Well, if anybody owned it, Theoretically, I guess you could say God owns it. Okay, so it's God's Son. And God's Son is our risen Savior. That's right, because it rises every morning. If it don't, we're dead in three weeks. And so the, the Venus was the, the light bringer, the one who announced the coming of God's Son, the light of the world. So today we say that Venus is the light bringer. He, he brings the light. And so Jesus said, I am the light of the world. I'm the one that lights the world. So Jesus is the light bringer because through Jesus we are enlightened to about God, about the universe, about our lives. We're supposedly to worship God's Son, the light of the world. And if you're looking to God's Son to learn from him, then you are his pupil, which is a, a term we use for the round circle of your eye as a pupil. So you're learning from God's Son. You're taking in intellectual and spiritual enlightenment from the Son. And so Jesus is uh, the Son, and he is the one who brings the light. So it was a misunderstanding of astrological terms from because the, 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 the writers of the King James Bible, translators, were very, very good with the King's English, but they weren't that hot on Aramaic and Greek. And so sometimes they made mistakes and said things that weren't exactly correct. And so exactly. they misunderstood uh, the word helio and translated it Lucifer when it should be just a bright star. Uh, anything bright star that heralds the coming of the sun, the light of the world, is called Lucifer. One who is not the light, but he's bringing the light to you. And so right. that's what you know. That's where we get all of this stuff about Jesus being Lucifer. He is the one who's bringing intellectual and spiritual light to the world. 